Our panel at the ready, Stacey Raskon, senior analyst at Bernstein, Josh Brown, CEO of Ridholtz Wealth Management. He's owned shares for as long as I can remember. Stephanie Link of Hightower with us today, too. Steph and Josh, CNBC contributors. Are you optimistic they're going to get to that? Yeah, so th- uh, this is the interesting thing, right? So everybody's been wondering what the, the Blackwell delays might might mean for any of this. And I actually think for Q3, it's probably not much of an issue. There wasn't ever going to be a ton of Blackwell revenues in Q3 anyways. Um, and they're not going to guide to Q4 and beyond. Maybe we'll get some, some color on that. Um, I, I think there's still a ton of demand. They're still shipping everything that they can sell. I think that um, they've been able to backfill some of those, um, and it's a minor delay with Blackwell, but they've been able to backfill, um, I think, most, if not all of it with Hopper, um, H200 and and the like. I think revenues probably should be fine. Um, I think- All right, Josh, you get the first word because you're my guy on NVIDIA. (laughs) What do people need to know here? When focusing on NVIDIA, Josh highlights an interesting point. So, So really the average reaction through last quarter throughout 2023 and 24 is plus 10%. But as I've shown you, those results have really been sort of all over the map. We haven't had the big down reaction. That's the one thing we haven't seen yet since the NVIDIA era began. I'm not suggesting tonight will be the start. Just keep in mind, it is in the realm of possibilities, even though we haven't seen it in this, uh, in this time frame. I think the most interesting thing here is that despite the fact that this market cap has grown to the size that it has, the volatility is still with us. That's usually not the case. Usually as companies become larger, we expect a maturation in their business. And as a result, we're less jumpy about the stock price from day to day. NVIDIA is just a different thing entirely. It's its own self-contained casino. Even though it has grown significantly and is now a major player in the tech sector, its stock continues to exhibit substantial fluctuations and volatility. This ongoing volatility in NVIDIA's stock is somewhat unusual for a company of its size and maturity. Typically, investors might expect a company with such a large market presence to have a more stable stock price. In the stock and options market, and this report is no different, NVIDIA is expected to move plus or minus 11% in reaction to the earnings tonight. For the last eight quarters, the average implied move post earnings was plus or minus 12%. So Reflecting its established position and reduced risk, Josh is emphasizing that Nvidia's stock performance is interesting because it remains more unpredictable and jumpy than one might expect for a company of its scale. Defensive day for majors, the major stock indices have been performing defensively, meaning they're not making big moves in either direction and might be somewhat stagnant or cautious. The game is still the game. That's the first thing I would tell you. The second thing, expected earnings per share of 65 cents just to set the table. That's 138 percent year over year gain on revenue of 28.7 billion, which is a 113 percent gain. If you look at the last reactions to earnings, from 2023 through today, reactions were plus 14%, plus 24%. Then we had a flat. Then we had a minus 2%, which is inconceivable, but it happened. Then we had a plus 16 and then we had a zero. Often described as a self-contained casino, in the stock and options markets, NVIDIA experiences notable price swings. As the company approaches its earnings report, the market anticipates a potential 11% move in the stock price, based on historical data showing an average post earnings move of 12% over the past eight quarters. Earnings per share EPS is expected to be 65 cents, marking a remarkable 138% year-over-year increase. Larger companies often have more established revenue streams, diverse operations and a stronger market position, all of which contribute to greater stability. However, NVIDIA does not follow this usual pattern. Focus on NVIDIA Josh Brown is focusing on NVIDIA, a major player in the tech sector. He's noting that despite NVIDIA's significant growth and size in the market, the stock remains quite volatile. Volatility despite growth normally, as companies grow and become larger, they tend to become more stable and less volatile because they have more established business operations. However, in NVIDIA case, the volatility persists even though the company has grown significantly. Expectation of maturity typically, as a company matures and becomes larger, investors expect less volatility and more stable performance. Josh is highlighting that Nvidia bucks this trend by remaining relatively jumpy and volatile, which is less common for large, mature companies. The game is still the game Brown suggests that Nvidia's stock volatility remains consistent. 
They had guided 28 billion for this quarter. The street's a little higher than that. They're 28.7 or 28.8. Street's around uh, 31 and 31.8 something, close to 32 for next quarter. Buy side's probably looking 33 to 34. Implying that past patterns will continue, critics might argue that this statement assumes historical volatility will always persist, disregarding the potential for significant changes in the market or an NVIDIA's business environment that could alter this pattern. EPS expectation of 65 cents, while Brown expects an earnings per share of 65 cents. Some might question whether this figure fully accounts for potential recent developments or changes within the company that could impact earnings. They might also argue that such a high year-over-year -year gain could be overly optimistic given market. Here are four reasons to support Josh Brown's perspective on NVIDIA. High volatility despite size Brown points out that NVIDIA continues to experience significant stock price fluctuations even though it is a large established company. This is unusual because larger companies typically have more stable stock prices. Implied earnings move he notes that NVIDIA's stock is expected to move by about 11% in response to its earnings report. This anticipated movement is relatively high compared to many other large companies indicating ongoing uncertainty and speculation. Historical earnings reactions Brown highlights that NVIDIA's stock reactions to earnings reports have been quite variable. Despite this variability, reaction out of the stock. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the buy side whispers are closer to 33, 34 billion, which would probably imply a 30 billion plus implied data center guide if you figure the other businesses are a few billion dollars so the average reaction has been positive with recent averages around 10 percent earnings guidance and market expectations he emphasizes that for nvidia to see a significant positive reaction it needs to exceed revenue expectations which are around 33 dollars to 34 billion this focus on exceeding guidance underscores the critical role of earnings reports in influencing nvidia's stock price nvidia despite its substantial growth and size continues to exhibit significant volatility, distinguishing it from many large companies that typically become less volatile over time. While revenue is projected to reach $28.7 billion, reflecting a 113% increase from the previous year. Historically, NVIDIA stock reactions to earnings have varied, including 14%, 24%, flat, minus 2%, 16%, and 0%, with an average reaction of around 10%. Despite the lack of significant negative reactions in recent reports, there remains a potential for downturns although such occurrences have been rare in the recent past. The current guidance for NVIDIA stands near $32 billion in revenues, with market whispers suggesting expectations around $33, $34 billion. With the stock currently priced at $119, a 11% move would translate to a range between approximately $106 and $9,106 and $9,132 and $932 and 9 cents. If NVIDIA meets the guidance of around $32 billion, the stock is likely to move within this expected range. However, if the company exceeds the guidance significantly, pushing revenue beyond $33, $34 billion, the stock could experience a more substantial positive reaction, potentially reaching or surpassing the higher end of the anticipated range. Conversely, if NVIDIA falls short of the $32 billion guidance or offers weak future guidance, the stock might decline sharply, potentially approaching the lower end of the 11% range range or even beyond if the reaction is notably negative. Volatility and market reaction. Despite NVIDIA's substantial growth, it remains very volatile compared to other large companies. This volatility is reflected in the expected stock movement after earnings, projected at around plus or minus 11%, consistent with past earnings reactions. Earnings expectations NVIDIA is expected to report earnings per share, EPs of 65 cents, representing a significant year-over-year -year increase of 138%. Revenue expectations are around $28.7 billion, which marks a 113% gain. Historical reactions in the past eight quarters, NVIDIA's stock reactions to earnings have varied widely, ranging from plus 24% to minus 2%, with an average reaction of plus 10%. Despite this variability, there hasn't been a major decline following earnings, which is notable. Guidance and stock reaction, the market is closely watching NVIDIA's guidance. Revenue guidance is expected to be around $32 billion, but whispers suggest it might be closer to $33 to $34 billion. Exceeding these expectations could lead to a more substantial positive reaction in the stock. Josh Brown's commentary sheds light on a compelling aspect of NVIDIA's stock performance, particularly its volatility, despite the company's considerable growth and expansion. 
NVIDIA, a leader in graphics processing technology and artificial intelligence, has become one of the most prominent and influential companies in the market. With its significant market capitalization and established presence, one might expect its stock to exhibit a certain degree of stability, as is often the case with large, mature companies. However, NVIDIA's stock performance challenges this expectation. To understand the context, it's important to recognize that as companies grow and mature, they typically experience a shift in their stock volatility. Smaller or emerging Emerging companies often show higher levels of volatility due to their more volatile earnings, market positioning, and the greater impact of news and developments on their stock prices. As these companies grow larger, become more established, and their business models mature, their stock prices generally stabilize. This stabilization occurs because the companies become more predictable in terms of revenue and earnings, and market participants develop a clearer understanding of their financial health and future prospects. In contrast, Nvidia's stock continues to display significant volatility volatility even as it has grown to a substantial size. This persistent volatility is atypical for a company of its magnitude. Despite Nvidia's growth and its transformation into a major player in the technology sector, its stock price remains subject to substantial fluctuations. This high level of volatility can be attributed to a variety of factors. Firstly, Nvidia operates in an industry characterized by rapid technological advancements and intense competition. The technology sector, especially areas related to graphics processing and artificial intelligence, is highly highly dynamic with frequent innovations and shifts in market trends. As a result, Nvidia's stock can be highly sensitive to news about technological breakthroughs, product announcements, and changes in competitive dynamics. Positive developments, such as successful product launches or significant advancements in AI technology, can lead to sharp increases in the stock price, while negative news or competitive pressures can result in significant. Secondly, broader market conditions also play a role in Nvidia's stock volatility. The technology sector, and particularly companies like NVIDIA that are heavily involved in emerging technologies can be significantly impacted by macroeconomic factors such as changes in interest rates, inflation and economic growth, market sentiment, and investor expectations about the future of technology and economic conditions can lead to pronounced swings in stock prices. Additionally, NVIDIA's stock volatility can be influenced by investor sentiment and market speculation. Given the high profile of NVIDIA and its role in cutting-edge technologies, the stock often attracts considerable attention from both institutional and retail investors. This heightened interest can lead to increased trading activity and more pronounced reactions to news and events, contributing to greater volatility. In summary, Josh Brown's observation underscores the unique nature of Nvidia's stock performance. Despite the company's significant growth and established position in the market, its stock continues to experience considerable volatility. This contrasts with the typical pattern observed in larger, more mature companies. The persistent volatility of Nvidia's stock is a reflection of the dynamic and and rapidly evolving technology sector in which it operates, as well as the broader market forces and investor sentiment that influence stock prices. Understanding this volatility is crucial for investors and analysts as they assess the potential risks and opportunities associated with Nvidia's stock. Josh Brown is discussing the performance of Nvidia in the stock market. He starts by mentioning that the major stock indices have been relatively defensive today. This means that the main market indexes are not seeing significant movements up or down. Instead, they are displaying a more cautious or steady behavior, and this trend might continue as the trading session progresses. Despite the company's considerable growth and its prominent position in the market, its stock remains quite volatile. This is notable because, generally, as companies grow larger and become more established, their stock performance tends to stabilize. Investors usually expect that a mature, large company will show less volatility and more predictable behavior in its stock price. Josh explains that, in most cases, as a company matures and its business operations become more stable, its stock price tends to become less erratic.